Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How's it going? <clears throat> so this is going to be my first video. Um, this is a match I'm playing Chaos deck. Uh, we call it Red Deck Wins. Uh, it's kind of a variation on Trip Allen's deck. Um, I've modified a little bit to my liking. Um, we started with the fourth corner guy that gives plus two uh, between Valkia and Bloodthirster, but we weren't questing fast enough, and we really like John Bandemir's speed quest with uh, Chieftain, who quests a lot faster. Um, I'm going to hit play and just talk over this now. <clears throat> Alright, so this guy I think was playing Destruction. I think he's playing Loudmouth with Cunning Grout Shaman. So, interesting matchup. Also, I think he spams good luck quite a bit throughout the game, which is kind of weird. So, first champion placement, uh, just put the Chaos Champion in the far left corner. Uh, he respawns with Savage Boar Boss. <coughs> and, yeah, this started off as a four corner deck, but you just kind of figure out which characters work better. Um, like to use the removal guys to take off the last stand when they're on the last corner. That way Bloodthirster also pumps it. So my favorite champions are the ones that spin the units. So Valkia is high up on the list. She'll spin a, a non-demon unit and give it plus one. And Bloodthirster will also give plus one on its last corner. So as it plays, I'll kind of show you what's going talk to you about what's going on in the matchup. Um, so I plan now and I see Loudmouth and Ripper and and he throws out Cunning Grot Shaman. Cunning Grot Shaman's good. Uh, I made one mistake once against it, playing the final damage into its lane and then haven't played into that since. So you just you just always go in the far corner. Uh, let your units do damage in the middle and then when you're on the kill just do it. So, starting off with a decent hand, figuring out uh, the Fanatical is a great target for Valkia. <coughs> but I started off with, yeah, see here he starts spamming good luck. So, I don't know if, I just responded with good luck. He might just be saying, I don't know what, I think he might be mad. He thinks I'm lucky because I played opportunity strike on the first turn like it's the opportunity to play it all right <clears throat> so now i am going to drop fanatical skull fiend he'll do one damage to me and i'm going to spin it with valkia he'll do three plus one start off with four damage pass the turn uh, I'm gonna s I save the Furious Strikes to complete the dam to complete other corners, ability corners. He starts off with healing. Shaman, not throwing out any threats yet. I'm more of an aggro player. I don't play a lot of heal. Uh, if somebody like the Blood Reaver does extra healing, I'm cool with that. Here you saw Valkia pump it for 3, 4, 5 from the Bloodthirster. Here's Blood Reaver removing it, doing its 2 last stand damage, plus 2 from the Bloodthirster. Um, this also spins Valkia's corner, which is much faster. So I'm playing this removal guy and the other removal guy that's got 1, 1, 1 for 3 corners. Alright. He plays the Scrappers, which is a 2 2 guy. Heal 3, heal 2, complete a corner. Going to think for a minute. Got some options. I can play the Hound on the Bloodthirster, or I can start drawing into more guys to spin. <coughs> Got an interesting draw. Another flesh hound. So 
this guy goes away. So I'm definitely going to play a flash arm. Do a furious strike. And I don't know why that's good luck. Good luck. Okay, buddy. I'm going to dumb style it. I don't, I don't know why he keeps saying good luck. Um, and I'm thinking about if I want to complete the quest or not. Just because you can complete a quest doesn't mean you should. Sometimes you want to take advantage. If it's the uh, one that pumps my guys for 3, 2, 2. I want to wait until I actually have some damage dealing guys out there. So I went ahead and drew. So just because you can play cards and just because you can complete quests, don't do it right away. Wait to take advantage of them. Here he's starting to throw out some guys. Uh, he's playing that guy. Doesn't play it on... Doesn't want me to deploy, but he's got two X's for the first two turns. Not too worried at this point. Just thinking about how to get the last level damage. So now we'll complete the quest. Yep, good luck again. Hey now. So I guess I'm lucky because I'm a spinning quest. Dun dun. Yeah, he kept spamming good luck, and I wasn't sure why, but watching the video back now, I think, I think he was just calling all my plays lucky, like, because I'm drawing cards and playing them, I'm lucky. Whatever. All right, bud. Uh, let's see. 24 left, Battle of Glory. That's a healing card, so anytime his guys deal damage, he's only got one guy that's going to deal one damage next turn. So that does heal one. So it's any ally on this field. So you got to heal one. I think I'm going to. I got three, four, five, six, seven. Seven damage. So <clears throat> drop the Starving Flesh Hound. Yeah, every card I play is good luck. I just. I'm gonna dumb style it. I don't get it. Okay. <clears throat> so instead of spinning, I just thought I'd rub it in a little. Uh, we'll just let him finish it off on the last turn. If he had removal, probably not the best, but. <laughs> Scrappers. And Collar of Domination. So. <clears throat> I think I had to double check to make sure my uh, flesh hound is not, it's not a beast, it's a demon. Just a demon. Three, four, two more, and then one off the Chaos Rune Blade. <coughs> Alright, GG buddy. Hey, you know what? Good luck. <laughs> Alright guys, that's my match. Uh, this is going to be a series. I'm going to, so every deck that I have, I'm going to go through this kind of thing. <coughs> nope, starting again. All right. Sorry. I'm still figuring out how to do this. So what this is going to be, I'm going to record myself playing a certain deck for probably 15, 20 different matches. I'm going to try and pick some interesting games, games, whether I win or lose, um, talk through my strategies for it. So if you like one deck, there will be four or five videos <clears throat> and I'm going to try to post videos playing that deck against all the different factions. Um, this week, I'm going to be playing this red deck wins. I've got an elf zoo deck and for destruction, I'm playing in the competitive edge tournament. I'm playing Gordrak, so I'll be posting those videos. And what's the last one? Death. I got the Mordant Burninator. One of my favorite decks. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.